An eau de toilette with a trail that envelops you in a deliciously irresistible aura. I mean, who wouldn't want to smell like that? Like, what? <laughs> I don't know who wrote this, but this person should get a raise. Like, this is amazing. I am, I am so entertained. Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about what might be the most sexy perfume ever, in my humble personal opinion. I have a new bottle of perfume from Dior. It's this one. I think it's really beautiful, isn't it? I am very much a red lover, especially in the festive season and winter in general, in the fall. I think it's a very sexy color, honestly. Uh, it draws attention. I love red lipstick, red nails. I usually wear red lipstick and red nails. I also like wearing red sometimes and so this is basically just the dream flacon for me personally. So, why do I think that this might be the most sexy perfume ever? Well, let me tell you something. I have loved this perfume and I have had countless bottles of it ever since I was 15. So when I was 15, back then I had a boyfriend <laughs> and he knew how much I loved this perfume and mine um, unfortunately back then ran out for me. I was a bit sad. And you know what he did? He just bought me a new one. So very um, cute story honestly. So I was, I was really happy about that. And after that I bought myself another bottle which again ran out and you get it, you know, I always had to have this perfume within my collection because it's just, um, to be to be really uh, precise, it's not a perfume, it's an eau de toilette, but, but, but hear me out, usually I am not very much an eau de toilette person, if you can even say that, because I feel like it doesn't hold as much, it's not as intense, but this one is it smells like a perfume, It, um, the longevity is like with a perfume, it's just amazing. And oh my god, <laughs> you know, every time I smell this, it like kind of sends me back to my teenage years. Because that's when I wore it a lot, it was like my signature scent back then. And I still love it, it's not my signature scent anymore, if you have seen my other videos. You know, it's the Chanel Mademoiselle Intense. But I still love this nonetheless, and I still think it's uh, kind of sexier, of course, than the Chanel Mademoiselle Intense, because it's a bit darker, it's a bit more sweet, a bit more powdery. But um, let me read to you what the Dior website says about this scent. So, the Dior website itself says, You don't wear hypnotic poison, it wears you. That is the credo of this magnetic eau de toilette. <laughs> the sultry fragrance bathes the skin in a mysterious and irresistible scent like a bewitching elixir. Hypnotic poison eau de toilette is the ambery and vanilla tinged version of poison, the iconic fragrance of the House of Dior created in 1985. Its captivating scent reveals a refreshing heart of jasmine enhanced with notes of bitter almond and sensual vanilla. An eau de toilette with a trail that envelops you in a deliciously irresistible aura. I mean, who wouldn't want to smell like that? Like, what? Um, hypnotic poison eau de toilette encloses its powers in a bottle shaped like a tempting red apple that just begs to be bitten. <laughs> I don't know who wrote this, but this person should get a raise. Like, this is amazing. I am, I am so entertained. On it, the letters of hypnotic poison seem drawn like a call to voluptuousness. <laughs> So, with this description, you already know what it smells like, honestly. I think you should definitely go to your next um, Sephora, Douglas, wherever you live or what you have and smell it. 
and decide if it's for you. Ah, oh, I am obsessed. I don't know. I have the big version this time. It's uh, the 150 milliliters Eau de Toilette. Um, it says that it's made in France. Yeah, good. I mean, it's Dior, so yeah. It does kind of look like an apple, doesn't it? Ah, oh, I am obsessed. It is so beautiful. Um, so, I think this is an evening scent. Now, don't hate me. Yes, I think if you are going, for example, to the Christmas market during the daytime or you have like Christmas lunch, Christmas brunch, Christmas whatever during the daytime, I think of course you could wear that. It's a very festive perfume, in my opinion, um, very much for the festive season that we are kind of approaching or already in right now, which I love. If you still like to go out, you know, with your friends into different bars, if you have an evening Christmas party at your workplace, I think this is something you could wear. I would not wear this to the office, honestly, because I feel like it's kind of too intense. It's very, you know, strong and you, you, you just heard me read the description, so I think you know why I wouldn't wear this to the office. But yeah, I can just tell you, you should definitely try this perfume because I think it's a classic. So because, I mean, I wore this when I was 15 and now I am older <laughs> and I still like to wear it. So um, it's really just, yeah, amazing. It's like... This very sweet almond powdery scent and it just smells like you wanna it smells like a nice warm blanket that you wanna yeah have around you but also very you know mm, <laughs> sensual basically so let me see what other website um, websites say about the different notes in here because my nose is not... Wow! Wow! So this fragrance, like this website says so, has been around since 1998. That is insane. So, my go-to website for seeing how different scents smell, Fragrantica, <laughs> says that this the, the, the main accords are vanilla, sweet, almond, fruity, nutty, powdery, woody, coconut, white floral, balsamic. So I do not think it smells like balsamic. Maybe that's not super accurate, but Hypnotic Poison by Dior is a amber vanilla fragrance for women. Hypnotic Poison was launched in 1998. Hypnotic Poison was created by Anik Menado and Christian Dussolier. Top notes are coconut, plum and apricot. Coconut, plum and apricot. In which perfumes do you get that? I have never seen that before. Maybe I just haven't seen a lot of different <laughs> notes. But um, tell me in the comments, is that something you have seen before? Coconut, plum and apricot together? Middle notes are Brazilian rosewood, jasmine, caraway, tuberose, rose, and lily of the valley. Base notes, vanilla, almond, sandalwood, and musk. So that's how this smells, but I feel like you can read all of the notes. You can watch tens of thousands of videos about a, diff about a perfume if you smell it. It could very much be that you hate it, so I would definitely try it out before I buy it or buy like the 30 milliliter version and when you don't like it, you can gift it to someone who you know will like it or whatever. But um, yeah, I believe this is the sexiest perfume that I have in my collection and probably the sexiest perfume ever, in my opinion. Don't come for me if you have a different opinion. This is just what I like, okay? So, <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for watching my video about the Hypnotic Poison from Dior. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about the perfume, please leave them down in, uh, in the comments. If you know of perfumes that smell similarly or if you have a perfume where you think 
it's even better than that one or smells more sexy, then also leave that in the comments down below because I'm always ready and happy to try new things. Yeah, having that said, <laughs> the light is already kind of disappearing because in Germany, in, in Munich especially, it gets dark at 4 p.m. right now and it's been kind of hard on our mental health. Like I've talked to a lot of people and a lot of people are not like coping very well with it. Additionally, the last week has just been gray, like big, big gray clouds, no blue skies and pouring rain 24 seven. It was a lot. Today was a very nice, gorgeous, sunny day. I went for a run and it was just like the perfect, uh, you know, fall day. And then I decided, you know what, let's use the bright, <laughs> the bright sunlight and light in general to film a couple of daylight videos because I like to film in daylight. But um, the sun is kind of gone now. I don't know, what time is it? It's uh, almost four, so <laughs> makes sense. And yeah, I would be very happy if you also followed me on Instagram. I will link my account in the description box down below. My account is private, so I will just check if you're a real person <laughs> and not, you know, spam. But then I will happily have you in my Instagram community. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. It would help me and this channel a lot. And of course, also, it will be suggested to people who might benefit from it and who are maybe thinking about buying Hypnotic Poison from Dior. Yeah, <laughs> that being said, thank you so much for being, until, being here until the end. I will see you in the next one. Bye!